Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on too so you don't miss out on the next episode of Fort Prairie and Alberta Theme City. Welcome back to the channel. Our last episode, you know, we did some tweaks to the bus network and I really, uh, or the, the rapid bus line, and I thought that was, uh, that was pretty good. Um, if you missed yesterday's episode, yes, yesterday's episode, yesterday was the premiere of the Skyline 6. Uh, this episode for our new vanilla multiplayer collaboration series and uh, holy moly thank you all for all the support on that that uh, is going to be such a fun project i'm very much looking forward to the next go through for myself but i cannot wait for you all to see what have what the other five creators have in store for uh, their episodes and that is every sunday at 12 30 p.m eastern time so make sure you tune in for the premieres or just catch it uh, later in the day or whatever you can um yeah like blown away by that uh you know it's uh i'm really thankful that they invited me into that series and you know i even got to bat lead off in the series too which was which was really fun um so yeah if you, have, if you haven't checked it out please go check it out it's a vanilla multiplayer series um you know i'm not a vanilla player as you know if you watch this channel uh so it was a it's a little interesting uh you know it's, it takes me back to my roots of playing on console uh, but what's in store for today steven well as you probably saw in the title we're gonna try to build a dam, and I have a I have a location picked out for it. We're gonna see if it works. I have an idea; could work out. It's kind of thematic, but we're gonna start off today's episode with a bunch of names. So here we are at the university. I was originally planning on doing today's episode at the university, but we actually lost the level, so I don't feel like it's appropriate for my for me to go in and uh, do level four. So I think we just need to get more people in the city before we start uh, diving back into that. And that's okay. I, maybe we can do that on Wednesday's episode. Um, you know, we have this whole land right up here, which would be a really nice area for some development. We also have all the downtown to build up too, which is, you know, very prime real estate to build up, in my opinion. Uh, what did we do last time? Well, last episode, we changed up the bus station over here, we got ourselves set up for a historic site in the future, and we changed up how all the buses are going to flow through here. Uh, I think on Friday's episode, we're going to continue the revision of this all and plan out each uh, intersection accordingly or maybe we'll start pushing on Wednesday's, Wednesday's episode for everything in this area so that we can start planning out how it's gonna look I don't know uh, I don't know uh, and then we also built a custom bus hub over here now I haven't seen your comments yet from that episode so uh, any you know discussion on the matter uh, we'll we'll talk about it in Friday's episode but uh, yeah this is the express lane and this is the local lane our local lines and uh, yeah Okay, well, let's uh, let's hop out back to the university because I want to, you know, use some names from uh, this area for the uh, from your, from the comments. So uh, the first name I'm going to add in is from Rowan, and Rowan suggested that I name a street after his dog, and I love that. I uh, let's let's uh, let's use this one. No, I'm a, I'm a dog person myself, so. Rowan asked if I could name a street Bosco Street, so we're going to name it Bosco Avenue. We're going to upgrade it, and uh, yeah, maybe Bosco was the first, the dog of the first dean <laughs> that uh, was at Prince Albert College. Um, so yeah, Bosco Street or Bosco Avenue, running right down the heart of the university, and we'll just bring it right down into there. That's fantastic. So if you don't see uh, your name suggestion, it, it, I wrote them all down. I have them all, but some are specified for different locations. So if we haven't built up that location yet, I can't build the road that the name is going to be after. Uh, so then we have another street name suggestion. And uh, let's go with, um, I think we're, we'll stick to the university. How about that? So here, we'll go with this one. Instead of Green Street, it will be This Hamp Street, and that was from Robo Horror. So thank you very much, or Bishamp uh, Street. So thank you very much uh, for that name suggestion. That is fantastic. And uh, all right, let's move on to the next one. So uh, the next one is going to be ah, we're gonna go to the downtown for this one, and this street is gonna be right here. And this is going to be named Salman Street. This was from Trapper. 
And Trapper suggested that Salemon Street is named after a, uh, a person who died during a great flood. And uh, we've actually uh, I've gone through the historical records of floods in Alberta, and I found one that was close to the date suggested by Trapper. So the Great Flood of 1879. And we actually have the ability to add in a disaster memorial as well, if I remember where it is. That's the meteorite one. Aha. So I'm thinking right behind City Hall, we get the Disaster Memorial Park. And we are going to name it. Oh, that's the Fountain of Life and Death. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I thought it looked familiar. <laughs> there we go. The Disaster Memorial. And it looks like it uh, is a bit sunken into the ground, and that's okay. I think we can fix it up a little bit. But uh, here we go. This is the memorial for the 1879 flood. And yeah, it was a real flood uh, in uh, in Alberta. And it seemed like it was uh, one of the first ones that happened in the colonial era of the, of the province. So if you can do something like that, that looks nice. And we can line it with uh, with some trees. And we'll go with some, uh, some medium trees. Maybe this... Um, was built up in, I don't know, like the 100 year anniversary of it or something. So 1879 or 1979. Fantastic. Okay. So we got the disaster memorial. Amazing. Okay. So uh, that was the next one. And we also have a couple of suggestions for uh, some more names. And one of them is actually from from myself and we got maple avenue here and maple avenue which runs right down the middle of here which actually runs all the way through to the highway but we're not going to really need it to go that far so we'll bring it all the way back and maple goes right up to here so this one which is right at the downtown core of the city this is going to be called Morato. Boulevard. And why Murato? Well, that is the name of the map that we are playing our multiplayer cities, our City Skylines vanilla multiplayer collaboration series on. So here we go. We got Murato Avenue. It goes right down through the heart of the city, underneath the city arch, which has a ton of tourists. Checking out Murato Arch. And uh, yeah, there's, there's a bunch more name suggestions, but I'm going to hold them off for uh, specific areas. So thank you very much for those suggestions. That is fantastic. So we're talking about power, electricity. We look right here and we have a lot of electricity available um yeah we do it it works um it uh we have enough but sometimes it fluctuates into the yellow and then if we go into our budget we're at 150 percent usage so if i bring it down to 100 we're in the yellow pretty strongly so i want to try to build this dam because one i think it'd be a really cool build uh, two, it's going to kind of start taking us out in a location that I want to start, you know, at least getting some regional roads planned out in. So we're going to go all the way out into here. Now, there was a couple suggestions to what to do with this river here, but I thought it'd be really cool if we put a dam right across right here. And then we flooded this area to make it a artificial lake. Now, if you're saying, well, Stephen, this is an artificial river or a dry riverbed, it probably goes somewhere. Yeah, it does. And right up here, too. But this one kind of goes up a hill. So maybe the source of, of this one, fl uh, you know, flooded or maybe in the winter, it's more of like a winter melt lake. And I'm OK with uh, kind of leaving that one. But this one in particular, I'm really interested in. And but again, Stephen, you know, the water's going to go somewhere, right? Well, here's the idea. Uh, there is a place in the lower or mid Rockies called Grand Coulee. It's in the, the, the United States, but there's a similar situation to this. Not exact, but you know, thematically it's the same where there's a dry riverbed and uh, called dry falls, pretty cool geological formation. I encourage you to go look that up. It's pretty neat about what it is, but uh, you know, there's an opportunity that we can kind of get like a block right here and we can keep this as like a, a retaining wall in the lake. Um, or the artificial lake and you know I to be honest I'm not sure what 
it, the situation is in Grand Coulee. But uh, I thought it'd be pretty cool. We could get like an artificial lake and then wherever kind of it kind of drops off. Or a bit of a retaining wall or something. And I think it'd be a cool little terraforming project. It could make like a really neat uh, uh, feature. You know, you get like a marina in there or something like that. It'd be really cool. And then uh, where do you want to build a dam? That's the big thing. I don't think I've I don't think I've built a dam on this series, and I don't think I've built a dam in a long time in City Skylines. So, we want to find a spot that has big arrows, because it means the water is flowing fast. So right here, you also want to find you know if you're doing it realistically, you want to find an area that is pretty narrow. Thinking about the Hoover Dam, for example, the uh, it's at a pretty narrow point in the Colorado River. So we got to go to power for that. And here we go. So we got to choose a couple spots and I want to utilize this road for the dam in a pretty good way. Uh, in, a, in a way that I think would at least lend itself to a future road. So I think right here is probably the best bet. We could bring a road down through here and then we could even connect it up into this lowland over here and then future connections over into Hanover Heights. Maybe another bridge over here or something like that. And then on this side, so we bring it, bridge it across come onto this side. We could snake a road through the, the cliff side here, which would be a really cool little drive. And then, bada bing, bada boom, we are in Dunn. So I think the Dunn Dam <laughs> could be a pretty cool little little build. So let's go from right about here. And we're going to come right across to about there. I think that works. Yeah, I think that's pretty much right in the middle and middle as well. So one thing I encourage you to do, which I am not doing because this is a Let's Play series, I encourage you to save beforehand. Now technically I've saved and I could just, you know, if things go drastically, drastically wrong, I could just, you know, forget about this recording and record again, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to, you know, just kind of go for it. And why do you want to save? Well, anytime you play with water in a large amount, like we are right here, you uh, run the risk of flooding. So uh, I think it was pretty fitting that we just did the uh, disaster memorial for the Great Flood. So let's uh, click it in. <laughs> so uh, the dam should be running and we are going to let it back up and we'll see how it works out. I hope that everything works out uh, well. If we click it, we should be able to see how much power is going to, or how much power is it's going to output. And we don't see any yet but I think it just needs some time to figure itself out. So as it is doing that, let us go and grab a simple road, just a basic road. Yeah, here we go. We're losing uh, the water here, which is pretty normal from what I, from what I gather. And we'll just kind of wait and see. So um, let's go uh, road, no parking. And we'll go ground level and we'll turn on our topography line. There we go. So I think we're going to need to go into freeform here. Let's click home so that we emerge at an appropriate height. And we'll just try to follow these contour lines. And we'll come back and we'll do a, a grading uh, afterwards. So the, for example, right here is probably the steepest part. We could do a switchback, but I think what we're going to do is we're just going to apply right through and we'll, and we'll kind of deal with it afterwards. So we're kind of staying right in the top of these hills. And then right through here, looks like we go in a bit of a, it dips a little bit. Now I think we could bridge across this. I wouldn't be surprised if in the winter this area flooded, flooded a little bit. This also brings us a bit closer to done. So let's go back to here. Let's go right to here. And then we're going to go into a bridge or an elevated position. And let's do something like that. Very good. And then we'll go back to ground level here. And we'll just try to follow these these lines. Yeah, this works. We can swing right out into here. 
And uh, I think we'll just leave it for now. Though we could connect it up uh, into this highway, but I think we're just going to leave it for now. And we'll come back to it uh, later on. Okay, so how is this looking now? Yeah, it's starting to back flood into here, which is expected. And it looks like it's holding back the river more than I was anticipating. And how much uh, energy is it outputting? Zero still. Okay, well, that's okay. We'll, we'll wait and see. Looks like the water's pushing back again. It's good to see. All right, now we'll plan out the road on this side. So again, we're going to go with the road no parking. We'll turn on the topography here. Click home. There we go. We're just going to try and follow this contour line. Just to about there. And then... Yeah, I think we can even start coming down a little bit faster. Uh, yeah. And then we can kind of just go to about here and then we'll leave it because we don't know how we're uh, <laughs> how we're connecting out over on that side and so it looks like the water is really slowed over here which is very normal to see but um, I'm hoping that the dam's going to start working soon because I wouldn't mind starting the rest of the build here and then also you know making some power Okay, so well, let's clean up the uh, the area here, and we'll start cleaning up the the road. So, let's go into the network multi tool. This is probably going to be our best bet here. So this is uh, okay. So first of all, I'm going to set this one to the same height as this. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, undo, please. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Okay, so let's uh, just lower it to. Uh, about there that seems about right just you know eyeballing it and then we'll do a sloping tool from here to about here that looks okay I don't think uh, we'd be shipping many goods through here so <laughs> so <laughs> I hope at least and then we'll bring this one up to this height 7.6%. Okay, well, we're pretty close between the two grades, so I think we could try to level it out between the two. 6.2, that's a lot better. And then why don't we actually go from here, though, and we'll slope it down to here. Now, that is a quite the steep drop. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do, get a, a good clean cut, actually, from here to here. So we'll see what that does for us. Okay, that's a lot better, so we'll just redo this slope then. 3.6. Okay, yeah, that's good. We get this really neat cut through here as well. And then right from here, whoops. We'll get a slope down. Hmm, so we're going to have to elevate this side here. So I think we'll be good just to get a quick little slope like that. That's cool with me. And then we'll get another one from here right down to there. Oops. From here down to here. Okay, very nice. Now, if we just kind of zoom in here, how does that look? Can a car make it up here? Probably. I think I would need to s smooth out this node one more time. Okay, that's probably good. And I might smooth out this one. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a lot better. Let me come right through here. And we're on the dam. Look at that. All right, now we're over on this side. So again, we'll just go back to the network multi tool. We'll slope from here. Actually, looks pretty good to me, but I think we'll just do it anyways. Okay, so we've got a little bit, a little bit of a bump right here. So I think we can do that, and that's very acceptable. And then, how is this looking? I think we can get rid of this bump right here. So I think we can pretty much slope it right down to where we want to, actually. So from about here, and we'll click it in. It's pretty good. 
3.2%. It's more than good, actually. And we don't really have that much of a, of a cut. Right through here is pretty, uh, was pretty drastic, but looks like we just kind of cut off the side of a mountain <laughs> or uh, a cliff. Nothing too crazy, so I think we're probably good. I'll just smooth it out a little bit, show some erosion on the, on the cliff side. Yeah, that's probably good. And then we emerge right there. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Try and smooth out some of this terrain. Alrighty. So how is this looking now? Still not producing anything, eh? Okay. Well, that's alright. Seems like some things are backed up. Now what we could do is we could try and just reset it a little bit. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know. I know that uh, sometimes these dams are rather finicky, right? So trying to get it operational can sometimes be more frustrating than uh, maybe it looks at the start. So it looks like a lot of the water pressure is running this way now, which is okay, but I pretty much just want to get this started. So we've pretty much dried up the entire river now. <laughs> That's not good. And uh, we're not getting, getting any water flow through here. So it looks like water should be flowing through here, but maybe what I need to do is look at the topography heights and just try and maybe level this up a little bit. Okay, so try and grab this. We'll fill it in to try to get the water to flow a little bit faster. And again, I wish there was a method of us uh, being able to do it even faster than we have it. Because as soon as I start adding like water sources in over here and changing the terrain up, we I want to get this going first. We still, don't, we still don't have any power coming through it. That's uh, rather surprising, to be honest. I thought that by the time we finished the roads, it would, uh, it would be good. Okay, well, it looks like something's happening to the water now. This is Water Watch 2022. Uh, now, if we go into our water sources here... Oh, there's a water source right here. So that's what's contributing to some of the issue, I'm assuming. So, I don't know if we can remove it. Oh, I just did. <laughs> Uh-oh. We'll see what happens now. Maybe, I think the water source is kind of holding it up. I probably should have checked what was happening uh, with it first, because uh, what the water sources do, if you're unfamiliar with it, by adding them in, uh, every time water comes near it, it kind of resets it to the height determined by the, uh, the water source itself. So, for example, right through here, we could try to increase the water pressure, but by doing that, we're gonna we're going to flood a bit more land than we were looking at before. So I'll just bump it up a little bit, and we might need to redo some of the walls of the river here. I think maybe we can get it right to about here. But I do want it to be a bit more in play. 
Um, so maybe that's uh, gonna be right here. Yeah, okay, so let's um let's try this. Let's grab this height right here. And if you go look at Grand Coulee on um oops on the Google Maps, it does have this interesting feature here where it kind of a lot like stops the lake. And I think they're like dams in a way. I mean more like a beaver dam than a electrical hydro dam, right? But uh, I guess it helps regulate the water, keeps uh, it holds the water in as well. All right, pump that out. And hopefully that holds back the water. And so we did smooth everything out here, but let's take a look now. All right. So, uh, no, not really working, is it? Um, we could try and add another water feature right through here. Kind of like what we had before. So what I'll do is I'll just lower it to about that height. Okay, we'll see what that does. So it's going to remove a bunch of water now. We're going to have a big, uh, big swing of things over here. Again, I wish I could, uh, you know, sim a lot faster. Maybe our dam is too high or something. Okay, so we're losing the speed of the water. It's really, you know, holding it back, right? All right, so things are things are happening. This is good. I almost want to delete this and let the water flow again, and then we'll re put it. We'll put it right back. Let the water go. It's gonna fly down this riverbed. Good thing Dunn doesn't exist right now because it would be uh, flooded. Okay, now if I remove this, let's see what, what happens here with the water. Okay, so a lot of it's flowing down the river here so we may see some floodage happen uh, down by the uh, the university look at that uh, mini tsunami go interesting what's happening I uh, was definitely not expecting that Everything kind of pointed towards this being a success right off the bat, and not having to do much. So I'll let this go, and as you know, there's definitely been some fast forwards through today's episode. So again, I'll just kind of let this get back to a bit of a more normal state, and then um, we'll put the dam back on. So we're back. Um, I just kind of let that go for a minute and let's see how the water is doing. Okay, so we're right back here with a lot of these uh, these big arrows here. So hopefully this works. I don't, again, I don't see why it wouldn't. If, uh, if you know what I did to mess up here, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm thinking maybe I was a bit too high. 
So we can try and go a bit lower here. Slope too steep. Kind of get this right about here. Okay, I think we can place that down. Let's see what, what happens here. I think I can move it with move it, but I don't, uh, don't really want to. Okay, so we're probably gonna see this flow over top of the dam here, yep. Okay. From my limited experience with dams, that seems to be a normal indication of when it's supposed to start working. Yeah, there we go. So it looks like we're just, um, you know, more elevated than we probably should have been. So that's good. We're producing a bunch of uh, power now. So we'll let this all kind of play out. And now let us try and figure out how we're going to get these roads up from this height now. So, um, let's try and just do a simple connection first. And yeah, so that's too high. Now this is like a huge project, right? So I don't think it would be out of the question that they would definitely do cuts um, like that. But is that, you know, too drastic? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, whoops. I thought I had uh, this tool out. Definitely, we probably need a lot of land here, right, to, to do a bunch of this project. So I think it's a totally acceptable idea that we needed to remove and secure some of the cliff face here. So we don't get like a landslide or something, you know? Yeah, definitely. I, one, I definitely think we need to redraw this road in. All the way to here. And then two, I think we'll have a better concept of what to do here. So let's just do a simple, simple curve. That's pretty good. And then we'll just get a nice smooth slope all the way up to about here. Nice. That's that's really good. Okay, 4.6 is a lot better. And then now we can come through here and get a cleaner cut or a cleaner uh, use of the smoothing tool. So really just taking off the sharp edges of it right along the, the road here. To limit the potential for landslides. Probably use that land we just did, or use the land that we just removed to probably fill the site in. And then they probably also use land over here as well to work on the terrain over on this side. It looks pretty good to me, folks. Okay, so now this is probably the trickier one. Uh, I think we can remove this road all the way back to about here, but that's where I want the the road to kind of go. So let's go with the nice curved, simple curved road. And we'll get this. Let's actually go with the freeform from this side. Curve this up like so. Then we'll come down to here. A nice clean curve like that okay so now this is the big cut now, this is the one i was worried about so let's see if we can get this to be at least fairly clean 10 percent. oh my gosh yeah that uh probably wouldn't happen so i wonder if we can grab this with move it and move it up a little bit see if we still get it to work okay so we just lost <laughs> we just lost it Let's see if this will do it and if it doesn't work then I'll lower it again okay well let's let's try lowering it Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the height that the dam has to be at. All right. Uh, good to know. Good to know. So let's 
do this and we'll bring it right back up to about here I think is where we had it so we're gonna actually go to about here okay so we did save some slope yeah that's uh, quite the steep drive here but again this is definitely not a trucking route so is it really the worst thing in the world no I don't I don't think so as long as we smooth out these cliffs I mean I've driven by cliffs you know in uh, areas like similar to this where the cliff is rather pronounced so I don't really mind that much renowned renowned okay so we didn't level up that's okay um, all right so why don't we try and clean this side up a little bit though I think this is a bit too steep so let's bring this one up right to about there and then we'll do we'll redo the sloping from here so we'll go from here down to about here I think this is where I clicked it in before five percent okay that's pretty good so you s climb up this this cliff here holy cow which is quite steep so if we can try to level this out a little bit more we'll see how this works yeah okay so you know we just used a lot of land and I think this would be a, a section that would either need to be elevated or filled in so I think we can probably fill in a lot of this especially right in here and we'll definitely smooth out these cliff sides. And we'll come back with the trees as well and remove them. So I'm actually just going to grab like this right here. I'm just going to bump it out on either side just to try and get a bit more friendly terrain here for the sloping tool. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then right through this section here, I'm actually going to change it to elevate it. I think it's going to be acceptable. Yeah, but uh, as a result, though, this needs to be straight. Ish. Straight-ish. All right, so we're coming right up through here. Yeah, we'll get rid of the trees. Don't worry. That's a lot better. Okay, this is also a lot better. Okay, so let's uh, just remove a couple of these individual trees. That's pretty good. And then right in here on the cliff. Rock and roll. Okay, and it's still working. 32 megawatts. Fantastic. Okay, so next step, let's delete this. And we'll let the water flow. And this is actually where we're going to use um, some, uh, some of this. So again, I don't really mind that we're going to probably flood into this side here. So let's try and just take a peek here. So this is the average height that I want. This is kind of where that height is. So if we bring it all the way out, where are we are going to start digging into the ground? We're still raised through here. Okay, so it looks like we're actually going to be pretty good. So I'm just going to undo that. And we'll just use some smoothing tools to kind of redo some of what we've recently done. Then I'm just going to grab, say, this height here. And I'm just going to kind of, that's probably a bit too steep, too much. I'm just going to, you know, add some interest in the ground again that I just took out, trying to find where an average height kind of was you know where where, uh, where we needed to build that uh, dam non-electric dam or hydro dam 
So we're right through here. I think this is gonna look decent. <laughs> Looks a little potholy right now. And you know, I'm no map builder, as you know from, from Brockton County. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, there's other options I can do. I could go something like this, right? And this really helps out. I'll come back here and we'll do a bit of smoothing as well. But I guess for like a an old river turned into a, a dam, I think this looks pretty okay. Or, a, you know, like a, a reservoir. While I was doing that sim through of the water going, I took a quick peek at Google Maps. And uh, yeah, I, mean, I think it looks fairly similar. Okay, so uh, since this is a reservoir kind of idea, this is going to take a little while to fill up. And technically, the water flow is all coming from this side. Technically. But I'm going to add in a water source over here. Just to make sure that the height that we need is appropriate. For this side so I'm gonna click it in we're just gonna lower it down to what I need it to be just right about here awesome and then we're gonna build a road right across this area here uh, let's go again with the no parking road and we'll go ground level So let's grab all of these nodes and let's make sure they're at the same height. This one I don't mind if it's a bit higher because we're going to start going above ground here. Or above ground. They're already above ground. More elevated is the correct word, Steven. And where could this road go? Well, probably into this valley here. I don't know what we're going to do out this way, but, you know, maybe one day... We'll build out here. I assume we will. All right, and this is probably going to be a bit of a cut. Okay, let's take a look at the topography again. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do out here. Probably maybe like just a mountain community or something like that. Okay, and then uh, this one and this one I want at the same height. And actually I meant to do it the other way around. Let's actually lower it to about that height. Okay, and then we'll set this one to that height. And then we'll do the slope from here to here again. Let's actually bring it right down to here. Okay, very good. And then right through here, let's take a look at the topography here. So we're going to need to curve, get a really gradual curve up this, this cliff. We'll probably slide right into here with this valley. And then we can connect up uh, the, this road here over here. And I think we'll probably be good with uh, with this for today. So, you know, building the dam, regional, regional building at the same time is... Uh, it's pretty fun. I guess when we're building a dam all the way out here, it kind of makes sense, right? Okay, so I guess maybe what we should do is really plan out where I want this road. And I think this is where I want the the next area to be. So let's do a nice clean curve. I'm gonna try and line this up. It might be a bit tricky for you all to see, so I'm gonna change views here. I think that's about accurate. Okay, and then we're just gonna drill right through the ground. Yep, that's at the height I want, and then I want it to be right at here. So let's see what this looks like. That's fairly okay. I like that. Okay, so let's just clean up the cliff side from the trees, and then we'll bring in the smoothing tool again. bit bigger than that fill in the terrain 
smooth out this side, smooth out this side, especially these parts right here. Now let's see how that looks kind of from uh, the first person view. I think that's an acceptable climb down. It's pretty good. All right, so how is this filling in? Looks pretty good to me. Let's see where this goes because we may need to make another block because it looks like it dips down through here. So we may need to block it right through here. So let's see where that's where that water's going. Because I probably should have blocked it right here. Yeah, so let's do that. I'll just cut off the land right here. We'll kind of just fill this up. We'll smooth this down. Since this is more reservoir than than uh, river now. Okay, so that's just gonna flood, and that's that's okay. Uh, we could add in a small water source right in here. So if we just shrink it down to like here, make it a bit bigger, a bit smaller than that, click it in and then just lower it down right to where I need it for this. Just right about there. Oops. All right, and this is gonna allow us to get some pretty unique uh, things going through here. I may need to add another water source right at this uh, this connection, just to try to level out the, the water. Because it looks like we're losing a lot of pressure here. So I think we can try to do that. This looks pretty good though. still filling up right so it's it's gonna take some time and a lot of uh, playing around that was pretty nice Let's see what kind of happens with that It looks like a lot of the water is just going out this way, which is fine. So I think we do need a, a water source right through here. Should it be right here though? Probably. So let's lower it down to the same-ish water level. We'll probably have to tweak that. Just to get the water flowing towards the dam again. And once this uh, is all set, I think we're, we're, we're done for the day. Because we have uh, this really crazy road. Um, yeah, I think there's a few more tweaks we could definitely make. Straighten this out a little bit better. Okay, so we're definitely out of power now in the city, so hopefully that doesn't kill anything. So I think for the time being, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the uh, power back at 150. Hopefully that actually does it. I should, should probably check. Yeah, okay, we're, we're good. It's going to be fine until this sorts itself out. Okay, so let's tweak some of these water sources. So I think I might need to raise this one up a little bit. Okay, let's bring it to 
here. And then let's tweak the terrain to the middle here. So yeah, I think we need to get it to about this height. This one needs to be pushed up, it seems. Because, as you can see, a lot of the water is going this way. Oh, we have a garbage issue. Hopefully that gets rectified soon. All right, is everything okay with the landfills? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, well here we are. So let's take a look at the water here. Yeah, so a lot of the water is turning this way. So maybe what we can do is we can start looking at trying to slope the terrain from here. Uh, so let's. this hopefully this uh, will improve some things I also wonder if I change the, the terrain height to about here fill in a lot of this that will, will help, but I also recognize that we're just, you know, filling in this giant reservoir of water, right? But I do think it's going to look pretty cool on the map here. What do you think? I think it looks neat. Maybe we get another road right on top of this. That's not road, this is road. Here we go. Just like that. And let's set it all to the same height. All right, and then we can do something with uh, this in the future as well. Like probably connect up these two in some regard. Alright, well I guess we just gotta wait really, right? So as we're doing that, I guess we can look at connecting up these roads with this interchange. So that this is uh, something we did a long time ago. Uh, and if we look at the terrain level here, uh, we have this uh, highway interchange that kind of just leads to nowhere. Uh, so why don't we go underneath the rail line here. That'd be pretty unique. And then we'll swoop over into Dunn. And we'll connect up that one and then this road over here we can swoop down and connect up to this access road
All right. So there we go. Town is starting to come together. We got uh, a bunch of, bunch of cuts through here, which I think is, uh, you know, it's fine. Um, oops. And uh, let's just smooth some things out. I think, for example, this could probably be just raised up a little bit. Don't tell the gradient gods. It's fine. Alright, so let's just smooth this all out. Anytime they would cut into a, a cliffside for, uh, you know, grading or purposes or anything like that, they would definitely re-level the terrain, at least along their easement. Because no one wants a landslide. Especially when during the heavy rains. Alright, so how is this looking now? River's drying up again. The city's fine. And we're producing power! Oh, I'm really glad that worked out. In the end, at least. And we're still, uh, you know, pushing a lot of water out this way. So, that's, uh, that's okay, I guess. I really wouldn't mind maybe another water source right here, though. Right here on the edge, just making sure that all the water is going towards the dam. So these stop water from coming in, and I don't think I need this one then. So hopefully it'll stop water from flowing towards this and it'll, all the water that's gaining speed through here is just going to hit the, the dam itself. So I'll continue to play with this uh, off camera and then we'll come back to it uh, on Wednesday's episode where we'll do definitely building because we definitely have a lot of demand. We have a very even demand cycle which is a, or a set which is very nice to see. We might need to do some work on the land over here to really try to redirect the flow of the river. But, uh, I mean, we're going to have to wait and see, I guess. We'll see how that works out. Looks like we still have some rapids over here, which I know it takes some time for water to get sorted out, but um, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll fix this all. Don't worry. It's getting speed. Maybe we need to eliminate some of this uh, jet out a little bit. Smooth that down. Help us get some momentum going. All right, well, uh, we'll end it here, folks. I hope you liked today's build, and I will catch you in the next episode of Fort Prairie on Alberta-themed city. Peace out.